Gentlemen, welcome back to the mess of a desk. And on my desk is the Wing Wing Z84. Absolutely love this plane. And if you watched one of my earlier videos, uh, you'll know that I have been and stuck a stabilizer in it. Now, that actually got me thinking because when I suggested a, to, to one of the flying buddies about using the Wing Wing as an FP, FPV platform, they said, no, don't do it, it's too unstable. But after what I saw on the slope on the weekend and what the impact of putting the stabilizer in it was, uh, it basically tamed the beast. So if you've never seen one of these Wing Wings fly before, uh, they're, they're, they're like a Jacqueline Hyde plane. They can go ridiculously fast and they're super stable when they're flying fast. When you knock the throttle off, they will glide forever. But they wobble in the air like that. And if you don't have it balanced perfectly or just over um, a little bit nose heavy, is it will just drop a wing and then just go into a death spiral. So if you haven't got enough height uh, to power out of it, uh, it's in the ground. Now, the stabilizer seems to have turned that completely because I was able to slope saw this. In fact, let me just chuck up a bit of footage on the screen for you so you can see how well behaved this wing wing is with that stabilizer in it. Now, coming back to the desk, you'll notice that I've been and pulled uh, these parts out. Now, I've got my transmitter over here, and the idea is is that uh, what I've learned from the mini quadcopter, which is sat here, is that my screw-up on this one is that the aerial is too close to that one, and I've just lost loads of range. So, um, what I'm going to be doing on this one is get the uh, receiver out as far as I can on one wing, and I'll get the video transmitter is far out uh, on the other wing. So let me just tilt that round for you. Use me marker pen. So you'll see that I'm getting maximum distance. Now the thing is, is that little transmitter is actually quite heavy. Uh, so what I've been eyeing up is moving the speed controller out onto the wing to, to get some of the ballast over that side. And the reason for that is that I don't want a uh, unbalanced model. Normally you know about C of G forwards and backwards and it's generally better to have a slightly nose heavier plane than a, a tail heavy one. But also you don't want uh, a plane which is heavier on one side to the other side. So what I've been and done is that it was six centimeters between the two and I've just been and put a little pencil mark in the middle. And then what I'm gonna be doing is that you'll see I've just put a little uh, uh, extension lead on there and I'm just hanging it up and it kind of balances about there. I'm going to have to put a tiny bit of weight on the right hand side but what I'm off to do now, if I can pull that one out, is that I'm going to go and get a pencil uh, and a standing knife or craft knife, uh, cut a hole in uh, the wing for the uh, receiver. I'm also going to cut the hole for the uh, ESC and get that so it's flush mounted so and I'll take the sticker off the top as well so we we end up with better cooling too and then for the video transmitter over here on the left I'm going to dig that in uh, and again try and, I'm going to try and keep everything along the C of G line and that the written and I know that's the C of G line because the center of gravity is just forwards of that spar on, uh, in the middle and I'll try and keep everything which I do along that spar. So uh, I, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna add, need to add just a little bit of weight to this side of the wing somewhere, but uh, it will be absolutely minimal. Uh, and again, I've got plenty of wires left on here because you can imagine once I've got the hood on the top uh, and I've got a camera mounted on the very nose uh, over here, is that that will, uh, there's plenty of cable for me to take the lid off and put it to one side uh, and be able to swap the battery as needed. So that's what the plan is, and I'll be back with you by the magic of video editing in about a second, uh, but this will probably take me about half an hour to cut out and get cut in, and I'll see you in a few ticks. So as you've just been in scene, I've just been and cut out the recesses for the FPV and equipment on the left, and also just to get the balance out, I have um, dug in and got the uh, heat sink, uh, sorry, the ESC in there. That sat in there really nicely and that I did have to, you may have seen me doing that on the video, 
is that I did have to cut out that tiny little notch there so the cables would fit down nicely. I didn't want to cut the bottom off the, off, lose the height off that because that's what it sits down on. Um, so yeah, a little notch on there. I've notched that out really well. Uh, a massive tip for you. So two tips. Number one, don't do what I do uh, or did. Uh, make sure you use a brand new uh, craft knife blade. Otherwise, I was cutting that out with a blunt one and it was really hard work. The other one is that you may have seen me doing is cutting out crisscrosses. So I worked out the outline, then went across and drew uh, cut in lines uh, horizontally and then did vertically and that made little cubes. And then if you get yourself a pair of long nose pliers, you can dig in and then twist and it comes out and it's pretty clean. Uh, what at the, the end of it. It's much better than just trying to pick it out with your fing fingernail, although admittedly I did have a bit of a carve out on that as well. So I've got the video transmitter in there. That sat in there just um, a little bit proud uh, because I'm going to put some blender tape on that uh, just to hold it down. And again, I'm going to tape this down too. I didn't cut recesses for the cable in here because a little bit of tape, that, that's not really going to be like an aerodynamic impediment. Uh, if that makes sense, just the, the bit of wire. So I'll take those down on that side. On this side, I've because the cables are a lot thicker for the ESC, uh, I've dug really big recesses in there for them to go in and make sure that they, they clear the actual lid itself. Um, the receiver's cables do run underneath the ESC. Now, normally you would try and keep away uh, like high voltage because you're basically converting DC to AC uh, for the motor, especially with these um, brushless uh, motors. But I am running the cable in horizontally across, so that they are now at right angles to each other. Um, but with that said, uh, I think that's fine here. The only couple of bits which I now need to do is sort out the camera on the front uh, on the lid, uh, and uh, I've got a little bit of soldering to do. The next time you're going to see this plane, uh, hopefully it will be on the playing fields and we'll be going out for our first FPV flight with the Wing Wing Z84. So with that said, for myself, Matt, I hope you enjoyed this video. Any comments, good, bad or ugly, please let me know in the comments box below this video. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you'll get notified when this one goes out for its maiden flight with the FPV equipment in there. Oh, a quick update on the balance before I go is that if I just mark that, you know, hang that in the center, we are still a little bit lopsided across to the left. I'll sort that out with a tiny little bit of lead right out on the wingtip um, horizontally to the CG line just to, to make sure we've got the balance sorted out. Anyway, with that said, from myself, Matt, cheerios, bye-byes.